Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is the astrological update for Taurus, the week starting the 21st of January. And this is a tough one for me to do. There is so much going on this week. It's phenomenal, and I don't believe it's a normal week. I think that there is something extraordinary occurring, which is here to shift our global consciousness even further. It's an awakening of our spirit and our very soul. For each of you, it will be an individual journey. Whatever you've been avoiding in your life, whatever baggage you need to clear, whatever love you need to express and personal truth, this should come to the surface this week, whether you like it or not. But I'll take you through some of the other things that are happening astrologically to give you a clue of what's going on. Firstly, we have a grand water trine. And for you, it's all about the way you communicate in relationships and friendships. It's about karmic connections to friends. You may really feel that you understand why you're friends with certain people and what it means. But this is so profound, it also means that you have the opportunity to heal yourself. And when you heal yourself, you don't have to have certain friendships in your life. It doesn't mean that you reject or judge people, but it means that you let go and you are able to heal yourself and move on to friendships which evolve your soul and shine in the same light you do. It gives you the confidence to truly be you and to draw towards you the energy that you need. As a Taurian, you often hang on to the past. You find yourself very committed and very loyal to the past. And while that is a very worthy thing, we're going through great transformational times. And it is your duty to yourself in a way to allow yourself to progress and to grow and to invite new energy in to stimulate your soul, to resonate at your soul level. Because when you mix with people like you, it makes that energy in general in the world much, much more powerful. And we're at a crucial point in history, I believe, where all of our energy needs to be positive, have empathy and caring, and we all need to be the best that we can be. When you are the best that you can be, you are phenomenal because you are a groundingness to all the people around you. This grand water trine should bring up a lot of emotions for you, but it should also help you cleanse and wash away with all that water, all of your wounds connected to past relationships, past friendships, and to move forward refreshed and purified on some level. We also then have a full moon. Now this full moon is making you very emotional about your family or your home, and you should have a peak emotional experience connected to that. On top of that, we have a Jupiter and Moon conjunction and a Sun and Mercury conjunction. And both of these are saying to you, here's a little bit of good fortune. Here's a little opportunity when it comes to you feeling financially secure or if you're not into money, not just financially secure, but secure in the roots of your being and also within your career or your life's work. You should get a sign or a message that following your unique path is the right thing for you to do. And some little seed shall be scattered in front of you that's very, very positive. So make sure you water it. Now, if that wasn't enough, there is a triple yod. And while I don't go on about yods, or yods, or whatever you want to call them, this is something extraordinary. In fact, we start the week with a yod, but this one at the end is unlike anything I've seen before. And, and well, I have to actually, maybe I've seen it before, but it's very special though. It's almost like the December astrology that helps shift all of our consciousness. It's coming back up. It's saying, okay, you've shifted this much. Now I'm going to shove you a little bit further. And for you, it's, as I was saying to you last year, it's about being more adventurous. It's about having integrity in your relationships. It's about feeling strong enough within yourself emotionally in connection with your family and your home to really express the golden shining bright star that you are. I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon.